participate in Operation Christmas Child. The shoe boxes have arrived where you can send gifts to children overseas that are less fortunate than we are in this country. Also a reminder that we have a prayer meeting on uh, Wednesday night at 6.30. We have a devotional and then we have prayer. It's a prayer, it's a prayer meeting. And we pray for things and expect God to answer and He does. And we thank, uh, thank Him for that and we uh, ask you if you can to join us here with that. It's always a good time to fellowship with one another. Also, the men's fellowship meetings on Thursday at 6.30. Um, that's kind of iffy. Uh, see uh, Brother Michael Carney here. Uh, we're we're going to try to get that up and going again. We deal a lot with prophecy, and there will be some prophetic events that are going to happen pretty soon. You all probably know all about this, right? And certain things that are about to take place. You know, The Pope is about to bring an interfaith meeting together and uh, from uh, October 31st until uh, November the 12th. October 31st, ring a bell to anybody? Satanic holiday. It's a satanic holiday. Yeah. And they, they plan to call it Chris Law. Chris Law. And yeah, they're going to incorporate religious theologies together. And they're going to come under a banner called climate change. So whenever you hear the word climate change, know that that's a new religion. And that's what they intend to use to, to bring us under control. And I think they're going to have trouble with that with the people of North Creek Baptist Church. Um, any other announcements that I need to make this morning? I would like to add that if, if anybody doesn't know what to do for Operation Christmas Child Shoebox, we'll take some donations and purchase items to put in there. Okay, did y'all hear that? If you don't know what to put in uh, Operation Christmas Child in the box itself, just give a donation, mark that donation for Christmas Child, and then they'll take the money and they, they know what these children need, maybe better than I do for sure. Um, We'd yeah. like to do at least 35 boxes this year. Okay, how many did we do last year? About that many. Well, we need to up it. Well, I, I'm <laughs> guessing right now. So. Okay, so we'll do 40. Okay. Or 50. But anyway, it's a good thing to participate in and lets people know overseas, in particular, that Christians in America care about them. Um, and that's an important message to send. And when they see that you care, then when they get that little Bible, they say, well, let's see what the Americans are all about. And the Americans are all about the Scripture. Right? The true Americans are all about the Scripture. All right. If there are no other announcements to make, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we have gathered in this house to worship you, and we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for providing a place where we can come and worship you and get out of the weather, Heavenly Father, that there will be no distractions, Lord, as we listen to the music that you have given to us, Heavenly Father, and our teens lead us, Heavenly Father, into your presence, Lord, for you know that 
again, the music is the language of heaven, and we're grateful for that, Heavenly Father. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for the message that our pastor is going to bring to us, Lord God. We know, Heavenly Father, that those messages come straight from you. And he's a conduit, and they come straight from you through his mind, into his heart, out of his mouth, and into our ears, and into our hearts. And we're grateful, Heavenly Father, for that gift. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, that we have ears to hear what it is that you have placed on this heart today. And today is a day of special celebration, Heavenly Father, as we take the Lord's Supper, as we call it, in remembrance of our Savior and all that he did for us, Heavenly Father, like we would be standing on this podium, holding a microphone, Lord God, considering the life that I used to live and the person that I used to be. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that. Each one of us, thank you for what you've done for us. And we ask you to help us to become all that you would have us to become while we're here still on this earth. And so we pray, Lord Jesus, that you would help us with that. We thank you for our Burmese congregations. We thank you for allowing us to participate with them, Lord, and, and to be uh, just in partnership with them, Heavenly Father. We pray for them and for their leadership, Lord God, and just pray, Heavenly Father, that their churches flourish as our church flourishes, Lord. Help us, Heavenly Father, to become uh, better Christians uh, today than we were yesterday and better Christians tomorrow than we were today. And we just ask you, Heavenly Father, again, to help us with that. We invite you, Holy Spirit, please come and dwell with us, dwell within each one of us. I pray, Heavenly Father, if no one has ever felt the presence of your Spirit, that they'll feel it this morning. They'll know it this morning. So we ask you to come down, uh, descend upon us like a dove. We thank you for that promise of the Lord Jesus came. Now we pray the prayer that you taught us to pray so long ago. We ask you to empower it. I pray that each person that recites it, it not would just be a resuscitation, but it would also be something that comes from their heart. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.